What's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Kyle bringing you guys another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use this app called Struct. It's a app that you can make 3D games in. So if you are interested in making video games, be sure to stick around in this video so you do not miss out on anything. It's going to be like a basic tutorial video that I'm going to show you guys. But if you guys want to see a full video, let me know down in the comments below and I will get that video out for you as soon as possible. But if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more of these kind of videos, make sure you guys are hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these kind of videos or any of the kind of content that I put on this channel. So with that said, let's hop right into the app. But first off, what you want to do is go to the Play Store and go to Struct. It will be the first one that pops up. Once it pops up, you want to download it and you want to click play once it is downloaded. So mine's already downloaded and let's hop right into the app. All right, before you get onto the home page, there will be a page that you got to um, put your name in and sign up. And once you do that, you will get this home page after you sign up. So once you're on this page, there will be games that you could click on and play. There's all kinds of games that you could choose from. Uh, different categories. There's featured, multiplayer, trending, popular, and newest. So in the featured list, the first one, Elden Story, it has 761 plays on that game. So that's pretty high. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own game, but... First, if you go over to profile, you're able to create your own avatar. But in order to put your profile picture by your name, you got to contact them on Discord. So that's only like kind of downfall to this app. And up at the top where it shows the gear icon, the uh, settings button, if you click that, it will give you the back button, privacy settings, or policy, terms and service, do not sell my data, and report user or game. The only downfall on this app is you cannot log out of it. I do not know why you cannot log out. Um, I recently had to delete my cache and my data in order to make a new profile. So that is what I did for this um, video. I made a new profile to show you guys how to use this app and let's create our avatar. Update your avatar. Let's choose our skin color. Let's go with that. Boy or girl. Let's go to clothes. Let's do hat. All right, I'm gonna choose the hat. The locked ones are ones that you have to buy. They said a long time ago that or they were going to make the game to where you could put ads on your on your games, but I do not know if that is a thing. So that would be pretty cool if it was. You put ads on your game if you want people to play it and you earn money. That would be pretty sweet. So let's uh, switch up the style real quick and pick a different coat. Let's go with that. Uh, what you want to do next is you want to save it. Click the back button and it will save your character. But my hat did not save. So that is all right. We'll just leave it as it is. Let's go into a build and delete that. Up at the top, it says drafts, published, and templates. There's nothing in there, but these are the templates. You could choose these if you do not want to make your own design or own layout. Published, I have nothing, and drafts, I have nothing. So let's go in and create our new game. If you guys are still with the flow of the video, make sure you guys are hitting that like button, please. Be much appreciated. I don't know what the angle of the game is going to be once the 
screen rotates so hopefully it's pretty good for you on this screen but you had to rotate the screen in order to create your game so up at the top it shows the three lines if you click that it says resume remove anything settings save draft and quit so you can remove everything and start from scratch go to settings uh, controls audio graphics let's go shadows yes i want shadows sensitivity i'll leave it as it is audio leave it as it is so let's go resume all right say i want some mountains say i want a little bit of mountains in the back this is what you want to do you want to lay out your scenery that you want and i'll push play and show you guys what it looks like to show you guys the depth of the kind of scenes that you can get let's get this one a little bit higher up you just want to hold it and it'll go even higher as high as it can go so you can get some good cool mountains that looks pretty cool let's get some back here all right and then i'll put some like water and stuff in here too i like making the first person games because the first person's way better than third person for these kind of games anyways so let's add a little bit of stuff in the game all right and after you get your mounts and stuff done for the scenery what you want to do is go down to the plus icon and this section it will give you all it will give you a section for filter elements you can go down here and choose any of the elements that you want to use for your game and you can even type in what you want as well if you don't want to search through all this so let's go with uh grass i need ground that's what i need and then i need some grass dirt patch small hill uh grass tile ground mound i don't need that small hill two dirt patch let's go with uh let's go with dirt patch ground hill two and that'd be it for now you could add elements and it'll be at the bottom you can always delete the elements you can go back into here say you want to delete the small hill two click add elements and it's gone but i want to use that for now and once i'm done with this little section laying down the grass i'll be back i'm going to speed up the video and time lapse it so i'll be back once it is done
All right. Let's go collect some coins. Jump on that. A little collect coins. Check out the bonfire. What do you guys think about the bonfire? You like it? Collect some more coins. All right. Give me, give me, give me. Um, what's over here with that little icon with the red uh, caution? It shows you your inventory that you got. I got collect. I got six coins collected and two of the other coins collected. So what you want to do is collect everything that you see on the ground and jump on that. Oh, I missed it. Jump over there. Got it. Made the jump. Collect the coin. Collect the coins. You want to collect everything before you collect the gold treasure so what you guys want to do is collect this treasure in order to win if you guys want me to update this game let me know so let's collect this treasure you win publish a single player so what you want to do is make a title the title is going to be strange night and you can write a description all right guys the game is published if you guys download the app and search up it's kyle the game should pop up let me know down in the comments below some improvements to make and changes to do on the game and i'll be sure to get the changes made as soon as possible but the link for the app will be down in the description below for you guys to download that's it i hope you guys did enjoy this video and make sure you guys are hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of these kind of videos that I upload or any of the other videos that I upload on the channel. If you guys missed out on any of the videos that I recently uploaded, make sure you guys are checking out the next two videos on the end screen. With that said, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.